Hello and happy holidays everyone! I'm officially in the spirit after putting together the video you're about to see. The gift of giving caught on like wildfire at the recent American Toman Exposition in Baltimore, but it doesn't surprise me to see a story like this within the towing industry because helping people and giving back seems to be in the core DNA of most tow pros I know. This place rivals any holiday light show. Over 60 entries into the world's biggest wrecker beauty pageant, the American Wrecker Pageant in Baltimore 2022. And behind all the glitz and glamour of lights and graphics, a story is playing out that quietly reminds us all what the holiday season is about, giving to others. 14-year-old Noah loves trucks and the Make-A-Wish Foundation originally connected Noah with the Khan family in October of this year at the Wishes on Wheels Convoy event held annually in Connecticut. So Noah, we heard, walked 700 plus trucks and he picked our truck that me and my daughter were in. Literally, he could pick, as a Make-A-Wish kid, yeah. he could pick which truck he wanted to ride in. We walked up and down these aisles of 700 yeah. trucks and he picked Sal's truck, okay? Sal Khan owns both Nelcon Towing and Recovery and Untouchable Towing in Connecticut. Noah was invited to tour the shop and was presented with a few gifts he wasn't expecting. He has a love for trucks, so we came down and we gave him a tour, and he had us a seizure. He has seizure, so we had a major seizure there. And um, my daughter, other daughter Sarah has her CDL, so she was coming over to give him a ride, and he was kind of out of it. As soon as she pulled in, he, he lit up and he went for a ride in the truck with her. So then we were talking and we said, why don't you come down to Baltimore? Because I know the first time I came down here in 2005, I was excited. And uh, Sal says, come here, Noah. I got something I need to tell you. And him and Selena were standing there and they said, see this truck right here? And it was this one. Now, it wasn't in the shape quite yet. And he said, this is going to be your truck. This is going to be Noah's Make-A-Wish truck. And so they told us right then, and they said, and another thing, we want to invite you down to Baltimore to the truck, truck show. Yeah. Uh, so we're like, after we picked ourselves up off the floor, we're like, oh my gosh. You ready? We're heading into the tow yeah. truck. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go. I cried when we walked in yesterday. You know, before we got up here, I was telling my dad, I was like, the best part is gonna see Noah walking in. And so we were here Thursday, but Noah came in Friday, and me and my dad were in tears walking in. His face just lit up like a Christmas tree. Selena Khan, Sal's daughter, went a step further and reached out to several towing vendors at the convention and compiled a noteworthy amount of swag gifted to Noah. And so I reached out to, I think, 10 or 12 of them. And then even when I got down here, some I reached out quickly. And they, they did an amazing job. They all came together. Some personalized items, some trucks, some shirts, some hats. So they really pulled it off. I, I really appreciate it, like, everyone. We've been very successful and fortunate in our lives. And we wanted to, we try to constantly give back, you know. And the towing community is really like that. But I think we made um, him really happy. Yeah. Kind of tearing up over it right now, so. And to top it all off, we even filmed these reality TV stars finding a way to make Noah feel special. Gary and Colin Vanden Heuvel of Heavy Rescue 401 fame gifted Noah a custom Lego set with, you guessed it, a tow truck with their company's name on it. You know, getting to know Noah and his family, I met his sister for the first time on this trip, but they're an amazing family, Noah's such a good kid, and you know, it was me and my dad's idea to put his name on here and the side, and so. A 1996 Peterbilt 379 three-axle tractor in cherry red is named for this guy, Noah's Tonka truck. Yeah, this came to us in boxes. Somebody had started on it, yeah. and they couldn't finish it. They ran out of money. And then the body shop pushed it outside. They had done the painting on the frame of the truck. And Mark, who runs our truck shop, got the truck in boxes in the back of a box truck. And he put the truck together over two years. We're hoping that if we get a trophy, Noah will go up with Selena and get the trophies. Is your truck going to win in the pageant? That's right, Noah, you won big. And in the process, you won our hearts over too, little guy. 
Definitely an American Toman exposition we won't soon forget. I think this is my favorite year so far. Even though my mom, my siblings kind of come out, this is by far my favorite year. I'll never forget it because I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna cry. But seeing Noah's face when I walked in, it, it meant the world. Dude, All let that. me tell you, I, I have to be careful because I'll start crying when I talk about it, but they have been nothing short of unbelievable. They literally took us in like family. I mean, thank you doesn't do justice to what they've done for us. I just think everybody should try to give back and we all think we have a bad day sometimes. But um, I hope they recognize our bad days aren't that bad, even in our, in our worst problems. And to make somebody special is very important. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And from everyone here at American Toman Media, have a very merry and safe holiday season.